A closer look at those Kobe HTMs, making your own LeBron 12 Elite, kicks for the Jordan brand classic and Jordan 13 lows. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. If you happen to be in Milan, well, yesterday, you were one of the people that was lucky enough to possibly get your hands on the Nike Kobe 10 Elite Low HTM by Nike Lab. Now, the three shoe collection released exclusively in Milan was planned to hit the US later in the summer, but you can get a look at the installation here. The shoes look pretty nice in my opinion, though that multicolored one kind of reminds me of the scoring record Kobe 9 Low. Either way, shout out to High Snowbody for these picks and stay close and I'll update you as soon as they hit the US. First, LeBron 12 Elite is scheduled to release later this week, but along with the drop will come the option to create your own version of the shoe. Pricing on the Nike ID Elite is nothing to laugh at and will cost you $320, and these will officially go live on April 17th, which is on Friday. They didn't have the Jordan Brand Classic when I was in high school. Not that I would have made it on the team anyway, but for those that did make it this year, it looks like they have a pretty sweet setup happening over at Terminal 23. Jordan Brand released these images earlier today that show how Terminal 23 has basically been flipped for them and it has a pool table and all sorts of stuff. And they also show the Superfly 3PO that they have in their lockers. Now it looks like they're gonna have, they're going with a red versus blue theme and the Superflies don't look too bad. I actually haven't seen this exact colorway at finish line or Foot Locker, but there are plenty of colors of the regular season Superfly 3 for you to choose from. Keeping with Jordan, the Air Jordan 13 Low Hornets will be making its debut this weekend if you're into that type of thing. The official colors are white, midnight navy, turquoise, blue, and metallic silver, but the white and navy are basically the colors that really set the tone for this shoe. Now, if you are a Charlotte Hornet fan, these are probably a must for you, or if you just like me, and you just really like that metallic silver jump man on the hill. I really like that for some reason. Pricing on this low cut retro is $170 when they release on Friday. As for the question of the video, how often do you use Nike ID? For me, I've probably only done it maybe three or four times in total. I'm just not good at design and I usually don't like what I come up with, so I don't use it that often. But I want to know how often you use it. I want to know how often you use it. Let me know your thoughts right down in the comments below. As for what I'm rocking today, it is this shoe. It's the uh, Air Jordan 29. This is the all blacked out, well, almost all blacked out colorway. You see the white here on the Jordan and the white there on the Jumpman. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure if these are available. I don't think they are, uh, but if they are, I'll add links down in the description for you guys to check those out. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here on this channel. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks, and as always, I appreciate you. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. It's a bad shoe at all. For those that like that feel, that like natural running, or that like to have a bit more feel when they run, the Under Armour Speed Form Apollo Vent is probably for them. Now, the other shoe that they had is this shoe, which is the Under Armour Speed Form Gemini. Now, this one is obviously, as you can see, it's bulkier, it's a bit bigger, and more of the traditional running shoe that the casual.